I mean, like I think the, the, the dynamics in the US are quite different. So the longer end of the, of, of the US yield curve is more relevant for the US mortgage market because the majority of mortgages in, in, in the US are 30 year fixed rate. In the UK, it's much more short term focused. It's two, th two three year, I mean, maximum five year typically in, in, in the mortgage market in, in, in the UK. Um, what we can see is things like credit card debt, so the immediate cost of financing, because people are not remortgaging every week, evidently. So it's you know things like credit card costs and so on. They have still you know they are still at very very high levels compared to you know any 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 recent times. Uh, and of course the compound effect that of that is huge because if you're running up debt and your debt service costs have gone up by five six seven percent. Yeah, they have de they definitely not haven't haven't shown any signs of coming coming down yet, and it's the the compound effect of that which starts to squeeze the amount of disposable income that people have. We start to see a bit of lag in terms of of wage wage inflation because of a bit of weakness in the job market that can turn very quickly and, and have a profound impact on on consumption. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to ask if 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 you were to put out a crystal ball right now and you were to mm -hmm. try and gaze into it, does inflation stay in retreat? Yeah, so I mean, um, I've been of the view quite, quite, quite firmly that I think inflation falls a lot quicker than people were expecting. I think the, that view has now slightly got ahead of itself, uh, but I think you forget just how how quickly and how and, and uh, you know and how sudden the change in sentiment was when rates increased, and I think it does exactly the same so in, in reverse. So two percent handle though. Do we do we begin to see that, whether it be stateside or on the side of the Atlantic? Yeah, I think UK the UK is in a much much worse position than than the US. The US economy is much more adaptable. I think the UK has some latent issues from Brexit and so on, and you know, and, and we're seeing some, you know, still seeing some indigestion of that working through the system. I think from a competitive point of view, the UK economy is, is substantially less competitive than, than, than the US and substantially less adaptable. So I'd see rates falling a lot quicker in, in, in the U, in the UK, I think. Um what to buy? What to sell? Well, long duration assets. So what we were seeing, obviously, there was an excessive move into the tail end of last year. But if you look, it was it was the it was the inflation it was the inflation interest rate sensitive trade that we saw. It was it was tech companies, it was long dated government bonds. It was exactly what you'd want to do if you if you actually saw rates falling and expectations of rates falling. But that that trade's happened. That's what that's where yeah, I kind of interrupted <laughs> you last time. We've we've gone from five to three point nine or whatever is on the US. Yeah, it's definitely uh, ten year. We, we, that, that's done. Everyone's had their money, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's certainly it's certainly caught up. I think the question is, does it does it you know does it calm down for a few months and then accelerate again? Um, you know, it, it's highly unlikely when we look historically. If if we do go into a recession, and we can see most economists are predicting recession, which means nothing obviously when it's economists <laughs> predicting anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if we do go into a recession, the chances of central banks increasing rates or 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 maintaining a hawkish tone, I, th I think that will diminish pretty Do you remember the quote rapidly. accurately about economists and recessions? It's something I like they've got, I, I've got. I've got a version of it. It's like they've predicted 30 of the last five recessions, yeah, exactly. isn't it? Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.